yeah hi students i am dr badrinath and uh, this video we will see the scientists in the subject of biostatistics and the research methodology scientists sign means this sign sign signature so here not the signature it is a not a sign uh, short sign or signature no here very interesting factor in the scientist that's why they have gave the name not due to the signature but due to the positive sign negative sign we are allotting to the each value okay see how so in the statistical data what they have given we are giving either positive sign or negative sign to the each value by comparing with the standard value that's why this is called as a sign test okay sign means not the signature this is the your syllabus this is the common syllabus for all b pharm c m pharm c pharma d pre phd phd and all phd also you can do this is actually as per the pci norms for pharma d course fourth year pharma d course especially uh, here you can see the level of significance non parametric test sign test sign test is the comes under the non parametric test first point in the exam what you have to write no sign test is the hypothesis testing it comes under the hypothetic hypothesis testing it comes under the non parametric test okay it is used to find the difference between the given values and standard value okay that points i have mentioned clearly okay in the my powerpoint presentations right yeah here you can see parametric test non parametric test okay uh, in the exam they might ask what is the difference uh, between the and what are the different types of parametric non parametric here first simplest form is the sign test among the non parametric tests okay first point so yeah in the sign test we there is a two values mainly keep in your mind one is s value another one is the k value okay what is s value what is k value that we are going to be see and we have to calculate what is s value we have to calculate what is the k value okay and after getting this s value k value you have to tag the bar okay there is a uh, sign okay there is a competition between the s value k value which is the winner which is the loser yeah if s value is greater than the k you have to accept a null hypothesis that is h0 if k is greater than the s value you have to accept the alternative hypothesis that is a h1 i have already told how to construct the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis i made in a separate video if you don't saw that video first you see that video because this is null hypothesis alternative hypothesis construction is first step in all biostatistical testing hypothesis yeah here you can see in the exam if the suppose they will give a sign test theory if suppose they will give not the problem so first we will see the theory and immediately we will see the example also sign test is the simplest form of non parametric test np in the short form the given observed values the given values itself they will give no problem at all observed values are compared with the standard value standard value also they will they will given no problem don't worry about that both they will give you and we are writing the difference between the observed value standard value we are finding the difference okay and each difference is allotted with the either positive sign or negative sign or neutral if it is a neutral difference is zero then you have to say it as a neutral zero very simple test in this test we are giving a importance to the sign positive or negative or but not to the value we are not giving to the value <clears throat> to the number see here example i have given minus 10 minus 
minus 70, all are equal here in this test. Once you gave a negative, that's it. All negatives are equal. That's it. No compromise in that. Number doesn't have a value. Either it is a 70, 100, 1000, or 1 lakh, whatever it may be. Don't bother about the value. Just you have to bother about the sign, sign, sign. And plus 2 is equal to plus 90 equal to plus 49, whatever it may be, all positives are the equal. Yeah. Now, scientist, finally, we are counting number. See, we have allotted for each value, we have allotted positive or negative or zero. Finally, we, have, we are counting number of positive signs, number of negative signs, number of neutrals, zero. The number of negative signs are indicated by the yes. I told no yes and k. For, uh, competition is there no yes and k. Yes is nothing but number of negative signs. We are not bothering about positive and zero. Next critical value k. K should be calculated with the help of the equation. K is equal to N minus 1 divided by 2 minus 0 0.98 into root of N. N is nothing but number of positive, number of negative, not the zeros. Don't take the zero. Neutral values. Only positive signs. How many is there? Negative signs. How many is there? Total N. Yeah. Now, Null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, you must consider it initially. Now, S value should be compared with the K value. If S value is greater than the K, H0 should be accepted. If K is greater than S, H1 is accepted. H1. Okay. I have already, this slide I have already shown. Yeah. Now you come to the example. Very simple test. Arabindov lab, you know very well, uh, discovered the new polymer excipient. It was new. See here, this is the polymer what they have discovered. Okay, good. What is the difference? What is the scientist and what is the, where is the polymer? See, excipient, where we are applying the statistics. See, and we are expecting that it is having a good granules binding capability. See here, these are the tablet granules. We are adding this polymer to this as a binding agent. Okay. So that what happened, if you compress, all the binding will be very good. Okay. A tablet, you will get a perfect tablet, very good adhesive tablet. If you want to break with the help of a hardness test, you must, you need a much pressure. Okay. If hardness is more, then you can say it is a good tablet. Now, the question is really either this polymer having a good binding property or not. This is the polymer structure. 15 tablets they have prepared and checked for the hardness. Okay, very good. 15 tablets. Okay. Good binding property shows hardness minimum 4 kg. You know how to measure the hardness of a given tablet. Minimum 4 kg of capacity is required to break the tablet. Then only you can say it is a good binding property. Otherwise, what is a, see, 1 kg, 2 kg and all waste because polymer binding is not good. Tablet is easily breakable. Okay. Now, our target, we are applying the sign test here. How, how to apply the sign test? See, this is a tablet number. Totally 15 tablets. See here, count it. How many? 1 to 15. Hardness, see, 5, good. 6, good. 5, good. 5.5, 5, good. 6.1, good. 4. See here, 3. See, I got a doubt here. Either the polymer is having a, a good binding property. No, here it is not a good binding property. Here it is good. 6.1 is good. 5.5. 5. Here again, 3.5. 3.2. 2.8. 5.5, 6, 6.2, 6.17. See, if you see overall, it seems it is good. If, but if it is really good, why we will get a less values here? 3, 4, 3.5, 3.2, 2.8. Why we will get like this? 
either really if it is a good all 15 tablet must show hardness more than the four see here okay that's why we are applying the sign test here either it is a good or not so today we will finalize in this video itself right first you construct the null hypothesis new excipient does not have a good binding property no doesn't have i will not accept it is a default program null hypothesis h1 is a new excipients have a good binding property first of all i constructed a null hypothesis alternative hypothesis next to what yeah now find the difference between the i told no standard value observed value these are all the observed values see this observed values and standard value is 4 4 kg in the question itself they have given minimum 4 kg is having a good so you see the difference now 5 4 it is a greater than 4 plus 1 compare with the 4 6 4 plus 2 Five four plus one, five point five plus one point five, six point one plus two point one, four four zero neutral. Neutral is there. No positive, no negative. Three four minus one minus zero point five minus zero point eight. See minus one point two and all are plus plus plus. First of all, you have to calculate this difference with the standard value with the sign. sign see here number of positive signs you have to count now how many positives here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 ten. 10 ten positives are there a number of negatives it is nothing but s value i have already told you how many 1 2 3 4 4 is there so s value is nothing but 4 number of negative signs Number of neutral one total is equal to fifteen ten four five n is equal to number of positives and negative only not the neutral so fourteen ten four fourteen one is neutral that we are not counting in the n now now we calculate the k value with the help of equation what I have shown. K is equal to n minus one minus divided by two minus zero point nine eight root of n. So if you calculate that according to this equation, put all the equation fourteen, fourteen and calculate here, you will get the k value two point eight three is the obtained k value. <coughs> k value you have to compare with the s value, s value k value, compare. K is equal to two point eight three. Here eight I have to mention. Okay, S is equal to four. Since S is greater than K, H zero is accepted. What is H zero? New excipient does not have good binding property. That is a final conclusion. It is a waste because if it is a really good. All must be more than the four kg. Why some tablets will get a four tablets negative? Why we got one is neutral? Why we got that's why you throw the polymer. It is a waste. You have to modify the polymer. R okay, right. So, so these are the some of the common assumptions for all non-parametric tests. Blindly you have to write in the examination any non-parametric test. Common assumptions. Sample observations are independent. Okay, the variable under the study is continuous. Population is continuous. Lower order movements exist. Okay, these are the common assumptions. In the next video, we will see Wilcoxon signed rank test. Right? Okay, I will end the session here. and in playlist i have kept all the syllabus all videos subject wise uh, in my channel you see the playlist